this effect is called local optimization. So let me see. Local optimization. Sorry for my handwriting. Uh, I'll move my iPad slightly. Um, so what happens is like imagine you have value delivery process. Like uh, here is a customer, uh, or here are a bunch of customers. They are expecting something. Like they expect a product from us, but this product is being created piece by piece in our organization, right? And it might be different teams. So here I have four different stages, uh, four different teams are working on certain things, uh, creating different pieces of the product. And, um, when the team starts to optimize around their own piece. So let me show, this is piece number two, right? Oops. Um, so I, I will number them. One, two, three, four. All are pieces of a bigger whole. So when the guys at, at the second stage start to optimize, for them to do it faster or to do it, uh, I don't know, like faster or better in their terms, they might actually hurt the whole. Is everybody with me on this uh, idea? So let me try to come up with a silly example, but something that will illustrate the idea. So let's say we have a manufacturing process. Um, let's take something simple. I don't know. Let's build a car. We are building a car. So we are building a car at stage one. Um, uh, I don't know. The guys are making the body. So this is just, uh, the body of the car. Oops. Um, just a frame. Uh, on the second stage, the guys are putting wheels on the body. Uh, on the third phase, I don't know, they are doing interior, put in some expensive leather, and uh, on the fourth stage, they are doing, I don't know, testing and quality assurance and QA, uh, just to take something simple. Of course, things are usually more advanced than this. Uh, so imagine if I start... Uh, telling the guys at stage number two, guys, um, speed is everything, right? Speed, you need to be fast, right? Like you need to put these wheels, cut them fast and we will pay bonus. So every team has a, has a, has a king. And this king is a person who is a, in charge, like a chief of this department or head of this department. So head of wheels in this case, uh, is given a bonus if his team beats certain numbers on speed, how fast they are actually able to put wheels on the frame, right? And, and, and of course, the, the, the faster they work, the bigger the bonus. So what might happen is that these guys become so, like, they, they will try to invent new things which allows them to put wheels on the frame faster, right? Which in a, like, if you just think with the terms of putting wheels on the car faster and they might invent new tools, they might invent new ways of working, which allows them to do it faster. This is a good thing, right? Everybody should do this. So it sounds like a good thing to do. But what might happen, what we don't know often, is that imagine that these guys, I don't know, they figure out how to make wheels faster, how to put them faster. Uh, but uh, while doing so, uh, I don't know, let, let, let's, let's assume that, okay, they figured out something that allows them to put wheels faster, but which will hurt uh, the the way the frame and the 
wheels are connected will will make the work of interior guys slower is everybody with me so when the guys on the interior they want to put i don't know expensive leather around some uh, door there is something there on the door which like a new thing which is needed in order to put wheels faster they put something on the door but that thing now makes the guys on the interior slower right and if everybody is watching their own part of the work these guys are measuring faster for them the interior guys are measuring faster for them everybody is measuring faster for each stage but the overall process is not being measured and this might actually result that because your guys at the wheel stage are faster, the guys on the interior phase are more slower and much slower than what they saved. And like imagine the guys at the wheels, they saved one, I don't know, one hour of working time. Um, that's their benefit. But by doing this, they actually made the work of interior guys two hours longer, right? Faster for them meant two hours longer for the other guys, but the other guys don't know. If, if the guys that don't talk to each other much, if nobody is measuring the whole, the overall, and it's easier to measure when people are working close together. So guys between two and three, they could talk to each other like, I would guess that if I am working in the interior department and I am getting something from the guys from the neighboring room, which is not optimal to me, I might talk to them saying, hey, guys, why this shit on the door now? It wasn't here before. Now it's here and it hurts us, right? It, it makes our, uh, us work slower. So it, if the guys are neighboring departments, they might still catch it and talk to it. But imagine a company where we have 100 of these steps and some guys are doing in step number two, something which hurt guys in step 99. <laughs> this thing will usually not be discovered. Like the guy at stage 99 will just get, okay, this is the car. This is the way it is. This is what I have to work with. But if we were optimizing the whole, so the message here, uh, optimize the whole, Don't optimize the parts. So, and, and in this case, imagine what, what if I am paying bonuses to my heads of departments for faster, as soon as the guy from, like the guy from stage number two will be interested in slashing this hour, no matter what, right? Because one hour, if he slashes one hour, he gets a bonus. The guy at uh, stage number three, will take a hit, he will not get the bonus, right? Uh, and the company as a whole will also lose because now the car is taking one hour longer to make. And uh, it's not possible to resolve this conflict unless a, a higher level executive, so someone above heads of departments, measures the whole and comes to... To the, to the guy, to the head of wheel department and tells him, you know what? Uh, actually, slashing this hour for you doesn't make sense for us as a whole, but we will not punish you for this. Like, <laughs> I mean, you will still get your bonus, right? So the message here, you should always have someone who has a bigger picture, uh, someone who watches how changes are benefiting the end result rather than a local part of the result. And uh, we need to, usually these things are tied to compensation and bonuses, and we need to solve those type of problems very often. I don't know if, like, I, I, want, I want some feedback from you guys. Did you understand what I'm trying to convey here? Yes, Serge, that makes a lot of sense. 
All right, good. Because yeah, I was not uh, sure. So the, 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 this this main idea that often we can hurt the whole if we optimize a part, and it's not necessarily about being faster. Sometimes um, I don't know. Like you need to analyze what type of KPIs, key performance indicators, are being used at different stages. But there should be someone in the system who are, who is trying to look at their overall, right? And the overall means more. Overall should be prioritized higher than parts. And very often I see in the larger the organization, the more work is created in silos, right? In different uh, parts of the organization, which just take care of their own shit, like they think the more we see this effect of uh, damaging the whole uh, by by optimizing smaller pieces.